Yo, 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 what is going on, COD Familia? It is your boy BN, aka Mr. Kingdom Builder, and today we have a special announcement. It has been, I don't even know if I want to say a long time coming, or, or more so hoping, and we just got official word, I'm sure some of you have noticed on the official Discord, that there are some people that have been able to <clears throat> excuse me get access with their creator roles uh, and so they actually added a new category on where you can see uh, it actually says video creator for the tags and they even made a new visible role that's just below guide creator which should be above but that's just me and <laughs> with that in mind uh, again we officially got announced as a, uh, again, entry-level content creator with, I, I believe, m others as well, um, just depending on their status. And so this is nice, and I wanted to share this with you, the community, as we are at least now, I guess, a semi-official uh, entry-level content creator for the game. And it is exciting with I'm sure many of you know my love and my passion for Call of Dragons. Uh, for those of you that have followed me through my time, at least when it comes to content production, starting out in Rock and then eventually transitioning over to IK Infinity Kingdom, and then now to Call of Dragons, it has been a amazing journey, and it's been so fun and enjoyable to really just immerse myself in this genre that um, I know as Kingdom Builders. And so being able to have this opportunity for Call of the Dragons, obviously I, I want to give a shout out and a thank you to the COD dev team, um, to Asya as well, um, who's been a, a great rep um, for the point of contact, I believe, for the creators. So uh, again, uh, and, and it seems as though I know, it's interesting because I know one of the things we often talk about is, you know, and, and let me point out as well, right, so I can kind of give you what my expectations are and for what I will always give you no matter what, uh, right, regardless of being a creator or not. You know, for me, and it's funny because I, I, I had this conversation as well when I became uh, the first Infinity Kingdom creator early on, is that, you know, my view on producing content is a lot, for me personally, right, it's a lot more than just having it be progression-based. And, you know, for those of you who've seen some of my previous content, you know this is something I talk about semi-often. And it's not a slight against anyone that focuses on that type of content where it's more, you know, hey, here's, you know, how to do well in events or, you know, here's how to level up a hero or, um, you know, here's how to progress your account, generally speaking, right? Uh, or, hey, here's, you know, nothing but kind of PvP stuff. That content, let me, as I always say, is needed. However, in addition to that, my view on how I like to see content is that Kingdom Builders are much more than just, you know, a, a war game. It's more than just it being, you know, focusing on PvP, more than just how can you as an individual player level up and make your account as efficient as possible, etc., there is a management aspect, there's a political landscape, there is a player psychology understanding of why they do certain things the way they do, why are events geared in a certain way that they are, um, how you know does working the diplomacy realm work between alliances and kingdoms, what's the benefit of a home kingdom versus going to a season two merge kingdom you know, how to manage players and groups of players, how to set appropriate expectations, um, you know, how to do, you know, cross-kingdom diplomacy, um, you know, how to recruit for, you know, eventually when migration comes out, you know, again, how to be, a, how to be an efficient R5, right? How to be, you know, guide to being a good leader. Like, these types of things are, you know, again, pulling data, like you often see me do, where I, I'll cover kingdoms, we'll do introductions for them, I'll do interviews, we'll do top stats for the entire game, we'll do group stats uh, based on uh, which, which kingdoms are getting put into certain merge groups. This is the type of content that I, that I truly believe in and is something that 
I mean, I I know for sure, you know, sets me apart from from other creators because even during my time playing Rock, during my time playing Infinity Kingdom, some of these things I just never saw other creators cover. And like I said again, right? Again, this isn't a slight towards anyone. It's just this is what I enjoy. This is what's passionate to me. And I love covering, I love showing the community what I truly believe to be the other side, right? The untapped side, the side that just isn't talked about and covered as much, but is very real and is a daily occurrence for almost every player uh, while they're playing, whether, they, whether they're whether they aware of it or not. It has, can, and will affect them at some point. And so these are the things I really enjoy. And uh, one of the other notes I'll mention as well, just when it comes to being a creator, I want to point out, right, this isn't going to impact my objectivity. It's not going to impact the constructive criticism that I will always provide to the game, uh, whether it's an opportunity that I believe the game has uh, that they could make, if I think it's something good that they're doing already, um, if there's a modification or an adjustment that I believe in, right? I think there's always good ways to say things, right? You don't ever, ha- you don't always have to deliver, uh, <laughs> you know, things in a poor manner. You can do it in a professional way with having good etiquette and good conduct and being able to eloquently word things where it doesn't come off as a negative. It comes off as, oh, hey, this would be a good idea, or you know, I think this. Uh, if we if we analyze it and we break it down, you can see that right this may not be the most optimal way to go about something right here's a suggestion right i think being solution oriented is really important you don't just want to come out with a negative a piece of feedback or something again that isn't constructive or that you're not offering some type of a resolution to and again just to give a little bit more context that for me is a part in whole of what i'm looking forward to to being able to consistently give you as a creator for for cod as my oldest joins us and so uh, again i hope this is something that at least gives you a nice introduction a breakdown an insight into what you can expect from me as a cod content creator going forward and knowing that i'm always going to give you my best if there's ever something that you know, and, and, and I've, I, I always like saying this as well, if there's ever something that, you know, I'm covering or if it's not entirely accurate, even though I always do my best to uh, make sure that I do my due diligence uh, and verify and authenticate, you know, I have no problem if there's just something totally obscene and just something I completely got wrong, you know, taking down the video, redoing it. You know, I think it's very important that we also hold ourselves accountable to the authenticity and to the accuracy of content that we put out there. And I, I imagine every creator always wants to make sure that that is a priority when they're putting something out. But it also doesn't mean that we may not miss things. So, again, I will uh, look forward uh, to those of you uh, who uh, usually will scour some of the content. And if there's ever something you notice, you know, please always feel free. You, know, you can reach out to me in DMs. Uh, you know, again, I always try and make time for anyone and everyone. And that's probably where I'll end on is, you know, for me, accessibility, I think, is really important. And, you know, I love being able to engage with my audience. You know, you'll often find me either sometimes hanging out in the Call of the Dragons Discord. I'll just be in a voice chat, chilling if I'm just doing stuff. Like, again, a couple times if I'm pulling data for the entire game or if I'm pulling data on groups or merges. Sometimes I'll just hang out there and, and chat. Uh, you might find me on my Discord uh, when uh, when me and Sneaky and anyone else are doing our COD pod, which, cool note as well, they ended up adding video sharing and screen sharing to stage channels. So that's really cool. We can't wait to show you guys that. And really anything else, you can always DM me if anyone ever wants to set up a time to talk or schedule. You know, if I have time, I will always make time. And at minimum, I will always respond to everyone that messages me and DMs me. Um, You know, I like to be active in my Discord as well. And so, you know, that level of outreach and I think um, connection is really important when it comes to, uh, again, I would hope every community, but I, I can speak for my own. And so, if anything, I hope people appreciate that. That, I think, is going to do it. So, again, let me know your thoughts. Uh, You know, what type of content are you looking forward to see? If you got some ideas on things that you'd like for me to try and capture, uh, maybe from content you've watched and maybe you were inspired and thought, oh, wow, hey, this would be really cool if Boss did this. Let me know, right? And obviously, we'd love to hear your feedback um, and, you know, even your own expectations for me and and anything else in the comments below. As always, I like to read those, and that's going to do it. So, uh, again, hope you guys enjoy as usual, and that's going to be it. So, until next time, from your boy, I will catch you later.